In this section, we are going to focus on data transformation and computation. Now, let's see. We've got these observed variables. CSR 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. For a loyalty, we've got another 6 items. For satisfaction, we've got another 5 items. And if we go at the end of this data set, I've already transformed two. So let's transform another variable. Because what I'm interested in my analysis is overall satisfaction score, not the individual satisfaction scores. So this will require you to transform your individual observed variables and create a latent variable that is measured using these five items. So what we can do is just click the last cell or next cell and create or go to add from the data tab and we are going to compute a new variable from these five items so insert and it's asking for let's name it satisfaction and now the function now in computation we use mean function so that we aggregate the scores for each of the individual respondent on on those five items so double click and then from here on let's click one separated by a comma two separated by a comma three comma four and then comma five so now we've got an aggregate score for satisfaction so now you use this satisfaction score for your rest of the analysis you do not have to actually go for or use individual items this is what we normally do in analysis in spss uh, in scm obviously uh, we have this latent variable that is measured through those observed variables so that's not a problem you don't have to aggregate yourself it's automatically done by the program but in spss or in jamovi or any other statistical tool uh, that is not SEM, uh, you will have to do this or in, in certain cases in uh, R or in uh, M plus, obviously you will have to do it you manually, but we are now focused on this. Okay, what you do is press ten, press and enter and here it is. Here is your computed variable satisfaction. Now, similarly, you can do this for other variables as well, like corporate image in this case or reputation or service quality or any other variable now this was one case now there is you might want to add a new variable in your study so append means it would be added right at the end of it and insert means if you click for example let's say i click sq5 and see where it is added it's added before that particular variable so you can name it let's say i name it uh, mj1 for instance what's the type let's say it's ordinal integer and now you can't add anything to the labels here for now what you need to do is just go in here and let's write one two three four five so on and so forth and now you can what you can do is you can obviously add labels to it strongly let's agree so what happens now is if you go back to your data and click on it it's strongly disagree here now whenever you write one now it will change into that particular label if you want to do it for all those other variables you have to do it manually now this was when you add a new variable now, I don't need it in my data set so I'm going to just remove it yes now the third thing that you can do is you can transform the variables for instance you've got a reverse coded question in your data and I want to transform it into or transform the reverse coded variable let's assume sq5 is a reverse coded variable just go to add insert and let's name it sq underscore 5 or sq5 r the source variable is sq5 and uh, using transform create new transform Okay, good. Now we have to add conditions. So, oh, 
if the source is equal to is equal to 5 you will change it to 1 add the recondition if the source is equal to 4 you will change it to 2 if the source is equal to 3 obviously it will remain 3 if the source is equal to 2 it will be changed to 4 this is how you reverse code the items now if you don't know what reverse coding is uh, now in certain cases let's let's first finish this one one and you will use five and then press enter this is how it's changed see four is changed into two now what is reverse coding now in certain instruments for instance you've got five questions now four of the questions have got one direction i am satisfied with my job i love my job i don't want to leave my job i would uh, stay on uh, as long as I want to be on my job but the first question is I'm looking for a new job now this question is different in comparison to the other questions and now this question needs to be reverse coded once the data is uh, collected so this is how you can do transformation in Jamobi I hope this particular session would have helped you understand how you can add a new variable compute a new variable and transform an existing variable. Thank you very much.